see. What I see is when people row, their shoulder does funny things. Now if you notice that, when I row like this, if I do that, that's all wrong. So what people tend to do is focus on pulling the arm first and then worry about the shoulder second. So they pull with the arm. So the first thing they do is bend the arm before they even the shoulder's back. So they leave the shoulder behind. Then they realize, oh, I've got to get my shoulder back subconsciously. So then they do a funky sort of lift up and pull back. Now what that does is it overuses your upper trap heaps. And this is where people come in with these over traps, knots and problems there and they're not really getting the benefit of your lats and your lower trap and your rhomboids and that sort of thing. So they're very dominant upper trap. So the biggest thing that we need to change is making sure they think about their shoulder blade first before their arms. So if your shoulder blade, instead of coming up and then trying to pull it down, it just, when you pull back, you pull down to the back corner of shoulder blade. Now once it's back, then you row through. Then when you return, I know this gets technical, when you return, don't let it pop forward. There's another, that's the third thing I see. So when it's back, arm reverses, then your shoulder okay, can go. Now you've just got to make sure when you come down through here, you don't pop that shoulder up. So it needs to come down and then keep pulling down as you pull down to there. So the training part here is make sure, can you keep your shoulder blades back as you return the hands? Nice people when they do it wrong is they'll pull like that. They, they don't pull their shoulder blades back, they, they sort of bend forward and then they try and then pull them down at the end. So if you can just remember to try and think I've got to pull back first all the way back and then row through and then try and keep it back when I...